Hey, welcome back. All of you must be familiar with the term dB, which stands for decibels and is commonly used to express the voltage or power gain in an analog system. But what exactly is dBm? Well, dBm is a term commonly used by RF engineers to quantify the absolute signal strength. It is just an alternative for watts and it stands for dB per milliwatt. The power of a signal in dBm can be expressed as P signal in dBm equals to 10 log base 10 of power in milliwatt divided by 1 milliwatt. Let's try to understand this through two illustrations that I borrowed from Professor Razavi's RF Electronics textbook. Let's say that we have a sinusoidal signal of 0 dBm, which is driving a 50 ohms load. We wish to find the peak voltage across the resistor. We know that power is given by the formula Vrms square over R which is equal to the amplitude square by 2 RL for a sinusoidal signal. Since 0 dBm is 1 milliwatt, we can evaluate the amplitude to be equal to approximately 316 millivolts. This is a useful result, which approximately holds true for even narrow band signals. Now let's discuss another example. Let's say you have a receiver which senses a minus 100 dBm signal which is then amplified by an amplifier in the front end by 15 dB. We have to find the peak amplitude of the signal at the output of the amplifier. So the signal after being amplified by a gain of 15 dB would have a power of minus 85 dBm. Therefore, 10 log P of 10 log P by 1 milliwatt equals to minus 85. So the signal power is 1 milliwatt times 10 raised to minus 8.5, which is equal to V peak squared over 2 RL. Now, since there's no information related to the load resistance, we typically assume a 50 ohms impedance. Thus, V peak equals to 10 raised to minus 4.75, which comes out to be 17.78 microvolts. I hope those two illustrations made the concept of DBM clear. Next time when you don't get a good signal in your mobile phone, instead of counting the number of bars at the top, you can actually look at the signal strength in dBm to get a quantified measure. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, happy learning.